Right now, dozens of people are packed inside Icy Norcom High School in Portsmouth for some tunnel talk. Everybody's got something to say about the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Today is the first chance to weigh in on a new rehabilitation project for the downtown tunnel. It's the first of two open houses being held this week with engineers with Elizabeth River Tunnels. During the meetings, the engineers will show designs and concepts they plan on using. 10 on your side, Jason Marks stepped outside of the meeting to tell us how things are playing out so far. Jason? Yeah, the big thing here, guys, is we're talking about a lot of tunnel closures over the next year. I mean, we're talking about many weekends that the one of the lanes uh, of the uh, downtown tunnel will be closed. As you can see, the meeting here at Norcom is going on. It started uh, just a short time ago at 530 and will happen for the next um, about hour and a half. But as you mentioned, this is talking about rehabbing. What upgrades are being made maintenance wise to the downtown tunnel? Now we're talking about things that are necessities, things such as fireproofing the tunnel, new lighting and a new ventilation system. Uh, it's a $119 million project that is part of the three part contract that Elizabeth River Crossing has with VDOT. Of course, a new crossing at the Midtown Tunnel and the Martin Luther King Project are the two other parts of this. Now, the rehab project for the downtown tunnel will begin soon, August 9th, and I'm told crews will start working on the westbound tube first. And you can expect to see weekend closures in plenty of them. Westbound will be closed 25 times, weekends that is, over the next year, and crews will then move to the eastbound, where over the next, over the year after that, we're talking about another 40 weekends that are going to be closed. So a lot of detours coming up. Of course, we'll have a lot of information for you on wavy.com. Now, I'm told this project is being funded uh, through several avenues. Of course, one of the major ones was tolls and ERC, ERC and VDOT says the project uh, is going on as scheduled as if tolls are set to begin in February. Of course, a Supreme Court judge could have something to say about that. Uh, that is something that we're going to have to watch very closely over the next couple months. Uh, this meeting here it will begin. It started at 530. will last till 7. There will also be another meeting tomorrow in Norfolk. You can find information on that one uh, at wavy.com. But for now, that's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, uh, 10 on your side.